what happens when you put this next to that? Uh, what happens when this dissolves into that because of uh, tone or color or shape? I do think because these things are made up of the everyday, it somehow speaks to the beauty and meaning in our everyday life, that the things that we have around us, humble as they may be, can be really inspiring. Deborah and I went to a, uh, a residency for a year in Paris, and um, it was there I said, okay, take this year and be every kind of photographer you've ever wondered about. So at night, I was Brassai, and during the day I was Lee Friedlander, or I was somebody else, and, and then I would work in the studio, and then I have a, a deep interest in all kinds of photography, but I said, okay, when you go back, what are you going to do? I'm going to spend more time in the studio. That's where I feel the most curious. So I came back and I pretty much stopped photographing in the world. I still love those pictures, but I've in later years uh, discovered Instagram, so that's what that's for. All those pictures that I still want to make, but don't really have a place in my practice. I would say in the last 10 years that background driving force is an absolute, almost adoration of the painter Mirandi. I like the things, a whole range of things that can happen within a confined space. And of course, Mirandi's paintings were, were like that. So, you know, I do think of my work as tapping into this perceptual shift and change that I admire in many, many of, of his paintings. To that end, you know, a lot of my work uses some of the same objects that, that he does bottles and vessels and small objects that are sort of domestic in a way. But I trace some of that back to the influence of living here as well. I mean, I've spent 50 years in proximity to potters and glass blowers and jewelers and bookmakers. The whole range of the useful object and, you know, then there's the, the craftspeople that push the useful object into maybe a more aesthetic object. And balancing those, those two things, the useful and the beautiful, is certainly something that I got from my relationship to this community, to Penland. I can come down into this space and hours go by, but in the moment of doing it, it's like little revelations, little visual revelations happen.